It's snowing, it's snowing. It is snowing out here in Denver, Colorado. Stayed a few nights out in Boulder. Been in Denver for most of the time. And uh, there was a little snowstorm. I was actually about to start driving back to Flagstaff. But there's a storm surrounding me. And I was like, hey, I'll just stay another couple days. And uh, I stayed the night with my brothers. Thank you, Alex and Missy, for, for letting me crash at your place. But now I'm here. Now I'm probably gonna go to the gym. And I was gonna make a video about pros and cons of van life. And I was writing down, I was writing down lists and whatnot. And uh, I still want some more time to ponder that. <laughs> I'm doing urban van living, urban camping. So there's a lot, I'm dealing with a lot of negatives that you deal with when you're in a city. It's busyness, noise, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I decided not to do that. And I think I'm just gonna make like kind of like a day, day vlog thing. There, there's been a lot of things going on in my mind since I left Flagstaff to come here. A lot, it's, which is good. Some, uh, lots of things, lots of things. Because I left, I left Flagstaff, which is my, became my home. So comfortable over there. Have free camping in the woods. I work on my computer at this perfect Fire Creek coffee shop. I have things to do on the weekends and during the week. I have friends, some intimacy there. Like so, it really just fulfills all, all my needs when I'm in Flagstaff. It's honestly just a perfect, perfect world. So I've had tons of urges to just run back to Flagstaff, and I decided not to. And I, I was like, Weston, Flagstaff will always be there, huh? And I had a lot of realizations when I came back here to Denver. Is like. You create a comfort bubble for you, and you think, wow, man, I'm so powerful. And then uh, when you I uproot myself, put myself in a different world, you are you don't feel as grounded. Right? You go, whoa, oh my god. And so what I've been doing is just sitting in it, just kind of sitting in that ungrounded feeling, kind of like a little bit anxious, and sort of indecisiveness. And what, what I've been trying to do is transform this uncomfortable feeling and uncertainty and just take action. Each weekend, you know, because I work usually during the week, but each weekend I've been, I've been, I, I've been go, trying to go out. I went out by myself to this ecstatic dance event that I have every Thursday, which has been incredible and beautiful people. But like I have this discomfort to going out and making new friends by myself, but I force myself. <laughs> That's like, and it's exciting. It's exciting when you kind of push push through things, which I haven't done in a while. Because every time I go out in Flagstaff or a place, I I usually know people. Right? So I'm, I have all my floaty devices, and I'm not stripped st stripped of all my comforts. But you can learn a lot when when you strip yourself from things. Well, I'll be back in Flagstaff in no time. Okay, so first I'm gonna meditate, <coughs> and then we'll hit the gym. Off to the jib. Pack up. Fresh underwear. Time to get my pump on. Just finished up the gym. And I felt pretty good. I felt I'm pretty consistent. I've been going to the gym literally since I was like in sixth grade. I'm not. I'm no expert. I've never been like a power lifter or in into it for any sort of competition or anything. Um, I just do it because it's healthy. It feels good. I like the way my body looks when it's all activated and ready to go. I feel energetic. It's build, it builds willpower to go to the gym almost every day, even if you don't want to. Eat some oats and go to Chipotle. Here's my first friend I made in Denver, Colorado. Snowman. I uh, will probably be going out with my brother Missy tonight. Hopefully, we'll see. And uh, 
<laughs> I'm so indecisive. The one issue I have is I'm not used to not knowing what I want to do. I always have ideas of who I want to be, what I want to become, and my visions are usually fairly clear. So I didn't go out last night. I am in Lafayette. I just drove over to Lafayette, Colorado, like 20 minutes east of Boulder. I kind of like this place. I'm over here. I'm going to be hang trying to hang out in Boulder and stuff. I was just listening to the audiobook, The Law of Attraction. <laughs> Ask it, it is given, part one, The Law of Attraction, right? By Esther and Jerry Hicks. Yeah, so I just finished that. I was listening to it. And it was a good, it was a good read, good listen. It was recommended to me by somebody a while ago. I think it sort of summed up what is kind of going on with me. Not the whole book, but little, little bits of it. What I found from it is they talk about following your desires and creating your own reality by following your desires and being eager and enthusiastic about creating what you want, right? It's very normal for me to know what I want and always be sort of walking towards it. Whether that be when I was in college, finishing college. Uh, in college, I was trying to get internships, trying to get internships, got that. Uh, then I realized, hey, I want to do the van life, did the van life. Then I realized I want to work from my computer. Uh, just got clients, got, worked from my computer. Now I'm good. Then I wanted to make friends. I made friends, became part of the community. And then um, now I'm sort of like... My vision isn't super defined or clear for myself. Like who I want to be, what I want to do. I don't know, my goals and my vision aren't super crystal clear. They usually are clear because over the past year or two, I sort of created the vision I wanted for myself, which was travel, just live in a minimal life in the van, doing what I wanted, working for my computer, Trying to make friends, and I did it, and now I'm kind of feel ungrounded because I don't have a, a vision to walk towards, I guess. So that's what I feel like now. So what I was thinking is I might find some place next weekend and go out into nature. <laughs> Maybe paint or meditate and uh, kind of figure out what exactly I want, you know. Do, what do I want? What, what do we want? And that's when I feel most alive is when I am, I have these desires, clear desires that I'm working towards and, and focus, focused on. Feels really good. Do I want to improve my meditation practice? I don't know. Do I want to improve my social skill? Do I want to make more money? Do I want to make more friends? Do I want to travel different areas of the states do i want to travel the world do i want to learn a new language do i want to paint more do i want to learn something new i don't know there's so many possibilities so i guess right now i'm i'm dealing with the realizations of uh first i don't have a defined goal or vision and i also have the ability to go where i want uh become who i want and just really, I, I, I can I can sculpt my life in any way I want, any direction right now. We all have that ability. Yeah, so I guess that's what I'm dealing with. Well, that was a good drive. It was a good book that I read. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. This is kind of just an update thing. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, homies.